zero rates. Basically, what we refer here is the rate of interest on an investment that starts today and lasts for n years. So we call this as the n year zero coupon interest rate. All the interest and principal is re realized at the end of n years. And you might also sometimes notice that the n year zero rate is also referred as the n year support rate. Also, when we talk about the yield curve, um, actually yield curve will look like something like this. You will have the maturity on the x-axis and you will have the zero rates on the y-axis and for different maturities let's say t1 and you will have these different points on the yield curve so when we combine these we will obtain the yield curve that is basically a curve that consists of these different zero rates corresponding to different maturities so we will come back to this later on as well but now we will uh, like to talk about the forward rates so basically the forward interest rates are the rates of interest implied by the current zero rates for periods of time in the future so why do we uh, have this uh, situation we can understand this with a simple example consider that we have $100 to invest for the next two years and here you can think of two investment choices suppose that we can either invest for one year maturity and then we can reinvest it actually for one more year and in the second alternative we can directly invest for two years from the interest rate which is given for the two-year maturity as four percent so this implies basically you can actually draw a timeline easily and what we have here is the two year here and you have the end of one year here and initially you have this 100 so if you directly invest for two year maturity what you get at the end of two years is uh, one of eight point thirty three dollars and here think about the second alternative I just explained you invest for one year and then you reinvest for one more year but since we are at time zero the interest rate at when we come to this point is actually uncertain right so we call this as the forward rate so this is the interest rate that will apply at a future time which is gonna be at the end of the one year uh, for our reinvestment for one more year so that's the uh, uh, forward interest rate that will apply from one year uh, later on 